Hi, this is Michelle. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do faces. Um, this is the Bucilla Sea Princess felt stocking. And this is the one I just did. I made her blonde, but here's her face. And I'm gonna show you how I do this. I am using the instructions, um, the enlargement of the face here, and I'm gonna use the color symbol guide to get my colors. Uh, first of all, what I do, um, I don't cut the face all the way out. I leave um, a lot around the edges. Um, that way I have something to hold on to and I don't, um, you know, get the, the face all misshapen. Um, I just like to leave extra on. So first of all, what I do is I get all my colors out that I'm going to need. By looking at the color symbol guide, I know that the stars, I'm going to do an outline stitch. Here's the stars, one strand of red brown. I have that on the needle. I'm using the beading needle that comes with the kit, the, the smaller needle. Um, I always use that for faces. Um, my next color I'm going to do, I'm going to do the blue in her eye in the satin stitch and here's the symbol for the blue one strand so I have that next I'll do um, the charcoal for the eyes and that's a gray stripe and that's in a back stitch here it is one strand so I'm using one strand for all of the colors of her face um, I have white um, for the little highlight in her eye um, for her nose you can see that symbol there and it's back stitch and it's called rose beige Got that. And then for her lips, satin stitch, one, and then it's pink. So we're going to start stitching. Um, so I have the red brown for her eyebrows. Um, again, you want to look back here for her eyebrows. You're doing an outline stitch. For faces, I always use the stab method. It just, I. I, I like to use the stab method. I think it works better and I can get a good stitch. Um, it's an outline stitch. I do, um, like I said, I do the stab method. I go all the way through. You wanna make teeny tiny stitches because you wanna get a face that is soft and pretty. You don't want it, you don't want it scary. Um, it just looks a lot better when you use tiny stitches, the small needle, and one strand. So, so far, here is her eyebrow. And I cheated, you know, I, I didn't do the outline stitch like the instructions say. But I get this look of the face usually first time first try um, like this sea princess stocking you get um, two faces um, thank goodness because in the beginning I think I messed a lot of them up but usually I can do a face first try doing it like this so next I'm doing the satin stitch for the blue in the center and just tiny little stitches I'm not gonna cover up the line at the top where her eyebrow is um, eyelid, I mean, um, just doing tiny little stitches. Hopefully you can see this. You just want to cover up the center. Again, I'm cheating. I'm using the stab method. And tiny little close together stitches. cover the center. I'll do the highlight after I do her eyelid and her eyelashes. So there's her blue for her eye done. I better get one little stitch over here. I see a spot I missed. All right, so her blue is done for her eye. And I don't really knot the back. I just kind of pull it through the other stitches. Next, I have the charcoal. Um, and when I'm working with uh, pieces like on a face, I only use an 18 inch um, piece of floss. Put one end through the needle and then all the way down to the other end. 
make a knot. And I work with 18 inches just because it's easier to work with. I don't get um, tangled as much. It just works better for me. So when I'm doing this, I'll do her eyelashes first. So she has two little eyelashes. Just making a straight little stitch there. And then looking back, because you want to get this right, her eyelid is the charcoal and it's done in a back stitch. So you want to make sure you do the back stitch again. I'm going to cheat and I'm using the stab method. Just because I'm working with such a tiny little area, I don't want to bend my felt a lot and move it around a lot. And I don't know, like I said, this just works for me. So I'm doing a tiny little back stitch, tiny little stitches for her eyelid. So her eyelid is finished. Again, I'll just kind of loop it in the back. Cut it off. So next I'm going to do a little highlight in her eye and that's done with white. One strand. And that's kind of like at the top by her eyelid and you just want to make a tiny little stitch. You don't want to pull it really tight. You want to kind of leave it so it's like on top of the blue there. It's, a, it's just a little highlight in her eye. to give her kind of a little twinkle. See, and I don't pull, I don't pull it down, you know, all the way tight. It's just kind of sitting on top there. I'll loop that through a couple just so it doesn't pull. Cut that. Next is her nose, and her nose is done in rose beige. And looking back again, it is a back stitch. And tiny little stitches. The tiny little stitches are what gives it, I think, that soft look and just one strand. And you want to take your time when you do faces. When I do faces, I know it's going to take me about an hour from start to finish to do a face. So I'll make sure I have enough time to sit and do the face and not hurry. Do it all at once. It just comes out better, I think. I'm not going to make an hour long video for you. I've kind of done everything in advance, like picking out my colors and, you know, threading them on the needle. I did that ahead of time, but here's her nose. So that's done. And you know, the back of this doesn't matter because she's going to be stuffed and covered anyway. So now her lips, her lips are the pink that comes in the kit and top and bottom. I like to start with the bottom lip. And I go just on the on the line there, on the ink line. It's important when you do the faces, you want to make sure the ink lines are covered up. But you can do that with a single stitch. Small. And the tiny little needle helps. So, like I said, I do her bottom lip first, usually. Um, when I do the Sugar Plum Fairy, Winter Magic, um... All those I do the faces the same way every time so on her lip because it's a you know a bigger area I start in the center and I go one way and then when I get this part covered I see a little spot I missed and I have before if I've done something that I didn't think look right I will take it out and redo it because faces are so important to get right so I've just about got half of her bottom lip covered and I'm gonna go right to the edge where that bottom lip is and then when I start doing the center I'll start in the center at the top. I'm just going to do half of her mouth here because I want to show you the rest. So, and I, you know, pull the stitches down. Don't leave them loose because that's going to make her look like she's got um, really wide 
puffy lips and you just want her to have a, a soft little mouth. And you want to come up like right where your bottom lip stitch stopped. You want to come up right there at it. It takes a while, but it's worth it when you're finished and she'll look pretty. You don't want a scary mermaid. So her top lip is just about finished on this side. When you get close to the edge, you still want to, oops, you see a spot I missed. When you get close to the edge, you still want to cover that ink with tiny stitches. So I like to use my um, thumbnail too as a guide. That seems to help a lot. So you know right where to bring your needle up at. So here is half. of her mouth so we you know kind of did half of her face video would have been way too long I don't like to make really long videos I like to make short videos and get right to the point so I'm at the corner of her mouth here tiny little stitches and so if I did you know all the way across her her face would be done now so the next thing I would do is I would cut around her face and you want to make sure as with all pieces you want to make sure you get all the ink off so small scissors for small pieces like this are really helpful so you want to get all that ink off slowly but surely going around you'll get all the ink off And what I do too when I get done, I always check and if I see any ink, I will cut that off. Another thing that you can do is um, blush. This is just um, 99 cent blush from Walmart. I have some Q-tips, I broke it in half so it's easier to hold. Um, I just make it a little, little dab in there and then just give her you know, little or a lot, whatever you choose. And it's a nice shade of pink. So, you know, a lot over here, a little bit over here, just a little bit. Um, now, when you go to stitch up your face, you're going to want to put some stuffing in there. And I lost my stuffing. It's all right. Um, so when you start stitching and say you have stuffing in here. You want to stitch just, I'm using the rose beige so you can see. I just grab a little tiny bit of the edge of the felt. You don't wanna make your stitches really big and, and go over too much on the face because um, then your face will look a little distorted. So you make tiny little stitches. Um, I hold the felt really tight between my fingers making this stitch really close together, tiny little stitches, barely even coming up. See, I'm just catching a little bit of the edge there. And that's how you wanna stitch that up. You don't wanna have um, wide, big stitches on the face. Keep them close together. It'll just make the overall piece look so much better in the end. So here's kind of what I've done. You can kind of see, see how close together nice it looks. Now, if I were to be sloppy and I were to make 
big old stitches, which I'm not going to do anything with this face anyway. It was extra. If I just am in a hurry and I'm just like making stitches. She doesn't look very nice over here, does she? She looks much better over here. So there you go. I hope this helps you to get a nice, pretty face on whatever Bucilla stocking you're working on. Have fun.